Hey beautiful souls, Melanie Beckler here and today I am excited to share with you the three keys for manifesting true love into your life experience. And the main intention for this is to share these keys or secrets with those of you who are yearning in your heart to attract and manifest that true love, soul flame, divine counterpart to journey with, grow with, accelerate your growth with in your life experience. However, love of course comes in many forms. And so these same principles can be used to deepen in your loving relationships with friends and family or to attract soul friendships, soulmates, soul family in a platonic friendship sense. Okay, so the first key for manifesting true love is all about clear intention combined with faith. So I want to talk about faith first, because especially when seeking to attract love, I think it's so important to truly be able to know and believe at the core of your being that there is a divine counterpart for you, that there is another soul out there who is a divine match, a perfect match to support your unique journey, growth, evolution, and for you to deepen in love together, supporting each other. So at the core of manifesting love is having the faith that it is possible for you, that there is that divine counterpart, that twin flame, soul flame, soul mate, however you look at it, whatever your soul is calling for you to manifest, trust that you have that spark within you for a reason, because there is the possibility in the vast field of pure potentiality for that divine right partner for you to come into manifestation and being. So faith that it is possible and then clear intention that yes, I am calling this forth now, believing it's possible that there is that divine right match for you out in the world and then requesting help from spirit, tuning into gratitude for spirit, for paving the way for the right relationship that is yours by divine right to now come into your life with grace and ease. And now I want to share an intention with you, but know that this isn't a magic spell. These aren't the perfect words. It's the intention, faith, request to the divine. This is between you and God opening your heart, asking for support, and then opening, allowing the divine to bring it in. Take a deep and relaxing breath, tuning into your heart, tuning into the force of divine love, and then asking, intending, infinite spirit, make way for the right relationship for me to come into my life. I now give thanks that the perfect divine relationship for my experience now manifests with grace and ease in a perfect way. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so it is. Once you've set your clear intent, the second key is to understand the law of resonance, that things that vibrate at a similar frequency are drawn to one another. So at this point, bringing yourself into resonance with love supports you in making way for that right relationship, in allowing it to actually manifest in your life experience. And so you can begin to resonate with more love in your life by leaning in, focusing on, directing your attention to all of those things you do love and are grateful for, for the loving relationships that are in your life, for the loving relationships with your pets or nieces and nephews or whatever it is for you, where is love in your life experience? Focus in on that. And if you feel there is no love, then cultivate that divine love within. 
cultivate your connection with the divine, the love of angels, the love of spirit, of Jesus, of Mary Magdalena, of the infinite, the love of nature, the love of flowers, the beauty within and all around you, shifting your point of resonance so you begin to vibrate with more and more love to support and empower magnetizing love for you, to support and empower making way for the right relationship to manifest in your life. And now a very important third key is all about awareness. So you've set the clear intent, you've requested divine support, you're resonating with divine love. Now become aware of what is standing between you and truly manifesting that love experience you desire. So having the awareness to recognize, wow, I'm having a hard time truly manifesting with divine love because I'm holding on to this resentment around past relationships, or I have all of this anger, or I have this mistrust, or there's doubt, or there's insecurity, or there's judgment, and there may be all and even more standing between where you are now and coming into alignment and resonance with that love you seek, we are all programmed as young children in our life experience. And so many of these programs don't ultimately serve us, and yet they continue to run and play out until we go in and update them, remove old programming and install new programming that does serve. So awareness, acknowledgement of what patterns are playing out in your life that are blocking you from manifesting love in your experience is so important to gain clarity around because awareness is the first key to empower transformation to unfold. And oftentimes with awareness from a certain state of perception, that pattern begins to dissolve on its own through simply shining the light of awareness on it. However, there is more that you can do. For right now, become aware of something that is between you and the love you truly desire, between you and how you truly want to show up in relationship in the world. So doubt, frustration, judgment, all these sticky patterns that we all deal with some in our own ways. If you don't, then you're already fully enlightened and I don't know why you're watching this video. But anyway, tune in to one of those patterns that is up for you now that's coming into your awareness now and allow yourself to just be with it for a moment to acknowledge it's there. So it's like there's the knock at the door. Okay, we've got resentment here. So the resentment, understanding how it came to be. Maybe you were resentful of something around your parents, how your parents treated you, but now that's still playing out and blocking you off from the relationship you truly desire. Acknowledge that resentment's there as much as you can. Welcome it just for this moment to be here. Honor it for how it did serve you, how it helped you to get to here to survive your crazy childhood, to survive this world. Resentment was a buddy. It was a, and whatever the quality is for you, doubt, fear in many forms, how you leaned on that, how it gave you something to focus on. But now it's standing between you and what you truly desire. And so now with loving, compassion, you can grab that quality and send it back to source release it into the violet flame, transmute it with high, high frequency and light to allow it to transmute, be released, and to create a space and opening for what you do desire, replacing that resentment with divine love, with compassion, with understanding, with presence. And the more that you're able to do this, to clear out those layers, to clear out whatever it is that you're holding on to, unconsciously probably, tied to your childhood traumas and challenges probably, but that's standing between you 
and being in perfect resonance with the love you desire to have in your experience. Welcoming it, allowing a light to be shined upon it, letting it come to the surface, welcoming it with love, and then transmuting it through simply loving it, through giving it back to source, through releasing it into the violet flame, and then replacing it with those divine qualities of love that do serve you in resonating with the true love that you seek. From here, as you continue to do this work, because it is an ongoing process, just continue to return to love, to return to gratitude, to allow your heart to open, to allow the power of love to illuminate and bless all areas of your life. And then listen for those nudges of inspiration, for that guidance of your intuition as to the little steps you can take, the little things you can shift and change, the little ways or big ways for how you can begin to thrive in your life more, more self-love and care within your own experience, trusting that all the while, infinite spirit, the divine source, is making way for that right relationship to align for you. I hope this is helpful for you. If you have any questions about this process, please comment below. And I do have a Power of Love series that's available right now at angelactivation.com to support you in resonating more and more with the divine love that you seek that holds the key to not only manifesting loving relationships, but healing, empowering, uplifting, blessing every area of your life. I love, honor, and appreciate you. Subscribe here on YouTube if you haven't already, and then I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.